Hi, Mike Brooks here, and you're watching another nuclear chowder marking training video. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about your audio quality when you're recording your video. Now, I recorded a video already where I shared with you how I put this home studio together. And, you know, I'm kind of looking, at, I've got an umbrella light here and here, and I've got a backdrop with a light behind it, adding an effect behind me, taking away shadows. So if you go to nuclearchowder.com slash home studio, you'll see how I did that. And in this video, I really want to take, take your sound quality up a notch. Now, I'm just recording this with my iPhone and I'm using the internal microphone on my iPhone just as I did on the last video, the home studio video that I did. And in a moment, I'm going to plug in a brand new lavalier microphone to show you, uh, to tell you with your ears so that you can hear this, the sound quality difference. Now, now what you might want to do is actually plug in headphones and listen to the quality. When you plug in headphones, you can hear the quality, the sound much better. So you'll tell the difference, I think, listening to this with headphones or without. But to really hear the difference, to really sell you on this, it might be beneficial to put on headphones. Now, as I mentioned in the home studio video, you can do this visual quality. We're looking, talking visual quality right now. The visual quality can be upped for about $300 to $310, depending on shipping and depending on what you get. The audio quality for about $100, you can do what I'm going to show you here. I'll show you the equipment that I'm using right now. So the Smart Lav Plus is the microphone that I got. You can see that there. And then this StarTech.com, this is an extender. So this microphone only will go to about my waist. It's, it's going to be maybe three to four feet in length. Not enough for me to plug it in here. If I did that, you'd probably see them, the wire hanging down here. So what I want to be able to do is run it down my shirt, onto the floor, up to the phone, and plug it right into the side. So I got this extension cable. I actually got two extension cables, but depending on where you position your tripod, my tripod's very close. My tripod's about three feet away. I could literally reach out and grab the phone off of it. I'd only need one of these. But I got a second one just in case. This, these cost about six, seven dollars a piece, maybe ten dollars with shipping. And then this was, I believe, seventy-eight to eighty dollars with shipping. And I'll put this in the show notes again. You can go to nuclearchowder.com/prosound, and you'll get the links to get these. And I'm not putting affiliate links in there. We're not allowed to put affiliate links here in the state of Connecticut anyway. So uh, it's just where I got it from. You can get it from wherever you find it the cheapest. And voila, now I've got the equipment here. So here you see it, pretty small. It's a little clip microphone. Again, I'm gonna clip it right on my lapel, my, on my collar here, so that it is very close to me. And you can see it uh, is plugged into the extender here. So it extends it, and I've got about 12 feet of extension, so I can have the uh, microphone, I can, I can have the microphone on and running down my shirt, up to the phone on the floor, out of sight. So. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop the video, I'm going to put this on, and I think you're going to see a big difference. So, how's the sound quality now? What do you think? Big difference, right? It's a totally different experience when you're listening to sound with a microphone as opposed to the raw sound of the iPhone's microphone. Now, you can get other options. There's other options. Uh, another one I use is the iRig mic. It's a very inexpensive microphone. You can find that online on Amazon, and I think that maybe runs $50, if that. It's a very, very good microphone. I could literally, uh, it's got three switches on it, so one where you're very close to your mouth and one where you're far away. I could put it down on the ground, or I could rig it so that it's near the phone, and it would sound like I was close. Not going to sound as good as this, but it'll sound pretty darn good. So depending on what you want to do, for under $100, you can get a really nice microphone. This really raises the value of your video. The lighting that you see here in the home studio version uh, is really makes things different than if you're just using the native light in your house. You know, if you're just using house lights, your, your coloring is going to come out weird, there's going to be weird shadows, and it's not going to look professional. People judge the professionalism of a video by lighting and sound. That's really it. Using the iPhone to record this, the camera in the iPhone is just fine. Now, again, is this a professional video? 
it's pretty darn close. If you had a videographer here and he was, you know, videographer was filming it, you'd see a big difference between my prosumer, uh, you know, kind of in between consumer and in between professional, between my prosumer type video and their video. They can do a lot more with their equipment. I mean, they, but we don't want to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to buy the professional equipment. And you might, if you don't have the money to hire the videographer yet, this is a great alternative to get you going and creating content. Now, keep one thing in mind. Your content, the quality of your content is the most important thing. That's number one. If your content is good, honestly, you can film your video any way you'd like. I've seen great videos produced by people in really just horrible looking, horrible sounding videos, but the content was so compelling, it grabbed my attention, interested me so much that it worked. Your content has to be good. That's where it starts. If your content is bad, no amount of good video equipment, of good video editing, of good vi uh, hiring a videographer is not going to save you. You have to have good quality content first. If you do, all these things are going to raise the professionalism of your video. So I hope you're inspired to go out and start doing professional video, your own videos yourself. It's very, very easy, very affordable, and video just is going to crush it for online marketing. So thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for your next nuclear chowder marketing training video, and I'll see you on the next one.